This screencast will introduce you to the Scopus database. To search Scopus, enter your search terms into the Scopus search box. If your search contains a phrase, you'll want to make sure you use quotations, and you'll want to make sure you capitalize all Boolean operators. Go ahead and click the Search button to view your results. When viewing your search results, you'll see a list of options along the left side of the page that allow you to refine your search. Let's limit our results by document type. Let's select Articles and Reviews, and then let's go down and click on Language and select English only, and then click Limit to. We also have the option to change how our results are sorted and displayed. By default, results within Scopus are sorted by date, with the newest articles displayed first. But there are a few sort by options, including Cited by, which shows us the most widely cited articles first, or Relevance, which first displays the citations that are the closest match for our search terms. To display the full record of a citation, click on the title. You'll see the publication information, an abstract, and below that, a list of the article's references. If you scroll up and look on the right side of the page, you'll see the number of times the article has been cited since it was published. To view the articles that have cited this one, click on the hyperlink. Let's return to our results by clicking the Back to Results button. When you find citations you'd like to save, go ahead and click the box next to the citation and then click the Add to My List button. My List is a temporary storage place for citations. If you close your browser, you'll lose the contents of My List. To access the full text of an article within Scopus, use the USF Find Full Text link. In this case, USF subscribes to the journal the article was originally published in, and we can use either of the links under Full Text and any of the links under Full Text Search to access this article. Let's use the first one. This opens up the journal or publisher's homepage, and then you can just click on PDF, and it will open up a PDF of your article. When you've completed your search, click the My List link at the top of the page. From this view, you can either download your citations, export them to a citation management system such as RefWorks, print or email them, or you can create a bibliography. Let's talk a little bit more about creating a bibliography. To do that, you'll want to select the items that you want to include in your bibliography, then click Create Bibliography. Then you'll want to select the desired style, such as APA, MLA, or NLM. Let's select APA, and then click Create. We now have a list of references formatted in APA style. Remember, when using any system that creates a bibliography for you, you'll want to check your references for accuracy.